Namaste friends, welcome back to my channel. Friends, in one of my previous video, I had shown you how to make these gorgeous bracelets using these sparkling vikings. And you can see the sparkle and I had named these bracelet as starry night bracelet. So you can see the sparkle just like the sparkling stars. So in and today's video, we are going to make the matching earring for these starry night bracelets. So here I have already made the matching earring for my red and black bracelet. You can see the look of these earrings and how it goes with the bracelet, the sparkle and one more with this elegant blue color, the shades of blue. So it, this is the look and in this I have used the bralettes so you can see the look of the complete set with this bracelet and the earring and in today's video we are going to make the matching earring for this bracelet in shades of pink here I have already made one earring and we are going to make the other one for this pair. So let us see what all material do we need to make our starry night earring in this gorgeous pink color. Friends, for making our starry night bracelet in this gorgeous shades of pink, we are going to use 4mm bikers in two shades. Here I have used fuchsia and orchid pink. Then I'm going to use this drop bead. This is of size 12 by 8 mm you can also use larger drop beads as i have already used in this red earring this is in size 15 by 10 mm so it depends on you whichever drop bead you have you can use this and here i'm using 3 mm pearls in baby pink color then i'm using these 11 o's these are muki duracode galvanized silver 11 o's and these are 15 o's these are muki duracode galvanized silver 15 o's here I'm going to use this ear wire for my earring. You can use any ear wire of your choice. I'm going to use Muki thread and size 12 beading needle. So let's get started. Friends, we will start making our starry night earrings by picking up these four bicons in alternate colors. I have picked up this orchid pink, fuchsia, orchid pink and fuchsia. And I'm bringing these down towards the end of my thread and now time a double knot very carefully and now I'm passing through all the four bicons pulling in the tail very gently between the bicons Like this, and now picking up one eleven oh silver into orchid bicon, one eleven oh silver into fuchsia bicon. one eleven oh silver. Again into the orchid bicon. And one eleven of silver into the fuchsia bicon. Like this. Stepping up into the first eleven of silver that we added in this round. And now, as I'm exiting through this 11 of silver, I have to pick up four bicons. But here you can see right now, I pass through the fuchsia bicon. So I will take the orchid pink next. So I'm picking the bicons in, 
in this sequence orchid pink fuchsia orchid pink and fuchsia this sequence into the elevenu symbol so you can see by picking up this sequence our pink pikens orchid pink are lying in the same line and fuchsia are lying in the same line and now stepping up into the orchid pink picking up one elevenu silver into the fuchsia pikens Again, picking up one eleven or silver into orchid pink. Picking up one eleven or silver into the fuchsia pikens, and now I'm going to skip this eleven or to which I added all the four pikens, so I'm skipping this one. And moving into the orchid pink bike. So after completing this round, this is the look. And now, as I'm exiting through this orchid pink, now I'm going to pick up two orchid pink bikes. And into the next orchid pink bike. So here we have. Make this square on the top of this fuchsia pikens. Now skipping the eleven o, I'm passing through the next orchid pink pikens. Here again, I'm skipping this eleven o and stepping up into the orchid pink pikens. Now picking up one eleven or silver down into the next orchid pink pikin, skipping the eleven o, moving down into the orchid pink pikin, again skipping this eleven o. Into the orchid pink, and again into this orchid pink pikens, and into the eleven o silver at the top. Now we are going to add our loop for the ear wire to this eleven o silver. So for this, I am picking up six eleven o silver. So here I have picked up six eleven o, three and three six, and into this eleven o silver, like this. And now stepping up into the first two eleven o silver, picking up one fifteen o silver into the. Third, eleven o silver. Picking up one, fifteen o silver. Into the fourth, eleven o silver. Picking up one, fifteen o silver. Down through the last two, fifth and sixth, eleven o silver. Moving up. Through all the eleven o's and fifteen o's, like this, and to the eleven o silver at the bottom. Before moving further. Let us first cut the tail off. And here, I'm exiting through this eleven of silver. So now I'm moving down through the 
perfect thing into this perfect pink hyphen down to the 11 of silver into the fuchsia hyphen and the next 11 of silver like this we have reached this 11 of silver at the bottom and now I'm going to add four pythons to this 11 of silver but the sequence we have to maintain here I just passed through the fuchsia pythons so I will pick up orchid pink first so I'm picking up orchid pink fuchsia orchid pink and fuchsia so you can see and now into the 11 of silver so this way you can see our fuchsia is lying in the center and orchid pink on the side we have to maintain the sequence to retain our pattern in the earring and now as i stepped up into the orchid pink bacon i'm picking up one eleven of silver into the fuchsia bacon picking up one eleven of silver into the orchid pink bacon one eleven of silver into the fuchsia bacon and now I'm going to skip this 11 o to which I added all the four bitons. So I'm just stepping up into the orchid pink, skipping this 11 o, stepping up into the 11 o, fuchsia 11 o, into this orchid pink, and the next 11 o. And now we have to add the bitern at the center. We have all fuchsia here, so I'm going to pick up one fuchsia bitern and into this 11 like this. So we have got the square at the center. And now, as I added fuchsia, I'll be adding orchid now. So orchid pink, fuchsia, and orchid pink. Now, here I'm adding only three. I added this one already, the fourth one already, so I am picking up only three pythons and into the 11 o. So you can see this way we have added four pythons, stepping up into the fuchsia bitern, now skipping the 11 o silver, stepping up into the orchid bitern. Picking up one 11 of silver into the fuchsia bacon. Picking up one 11 of silver into the orchid bacon. And skipping this 11 of into the fuchsia bacon like this. Now Into the orchid pipe in living of silver fuchsia living of silver into the orchid pipe in up to this living of silver. And now I'm picking up two fifteen of silver, one three mm pearl, and two fifteen of silver. So here I have picked up these five beads. Moving up into this eleven of silver, like this. Up into the Orchid bacon in. 
Let me put the eleven of silver down through the crochet. Let me put the eleven of silver and orchid into the eleven of silver down through the fuchsia bicon into the eleven of silver and into the orchid bicon. Like this. As I'm exiting through this orchid bicon, I'm going to pick up two orchid bicons and into this orchid bicon. Into, skipping the eleven now. Into the orchid bicon. Again, skipping the eleven now. Into the orchid bicon. Picking up one eleven of silver. And into the orchid bicon. And into the orchid bicon. Into orchid bicon here. Skipping the eleven oh once again down into the orchid bicon and into the eleven oh silver. Now here we are going to attach our drop. So for this, I'm picking up an eleven oh silver. My drop bead. And one eleven of silver, like this. Skipping the eleven o at the bottom, moving up to the drop bead and into the eleven o silver. Back into the eleven o silver. I'm going to pass through. The 11 o, the drop bead, and the 11 o silver once again, just to reinforce. Moving up. And into the 11 o silver. Now. To the bacon the orchid bacon into the eleven o and now after exiting through this eleven o into the Fuchsia bacon Now I'm going to tie a knot between this 11 o and the fuchsia bacon So just very gently The knot like this into the eleven of into the fuchsia bacon and the next eleven of and here we can cut our thread off. Like this. 
So here we have completed our starry night clearing in this beautiful shades of pink, fuchsia and orchid. And now we are going to slip in our ear wire into the earring. Just pull it out. You can easily add this with your hands. You don't need any plier or something like that. And here we are done. Just press it and it's done. So friends, here we have completed our starry night earring in this gorgeous shades of pink you can see the look and the sparkle they look so gorgeous they are so stunning and here is the matching bracelet for these earrings let us just take a quick look over the other colorways that i had shown you in the beginning of my video the red one and the bracelet in this red and black color and the other stunning color, the shades of blue, the Montana, turquoise. Just look at the look. How gorgeous this set look. So I hope you would like this design. And friends, if you like my designs and my tutorials, please do subscribe to my channel. And please don't forget to press the bell icon so that you may get notified when I upload my next videos. Thank you and Namaste.